this is the real reason why you don't fit in. You were born to be a leader and not a follower. I'm about to tell you all right now why you was not born to fit in. You were born to be a leader and not a follower. Let me talk to all my winners and all my leaders. Why the losers in the back pick their nose while they sit up there monitoring us. Let me tell my winners something. You wonder why you was a born to fit in? It's because ever since you came on God's green earth, you were destined for greatness. Remember, you are a leader, so guess what? Leaders are destined for greatness. Listen to me now. Y'all stay with me. Ever since God put that leadership inside of you, since you was a child, ever since you was in pre-K or kindergarten, we are the 12th grade or college, if you went to college. People always understood you or underestimated you or treated you like you some type of animal. These people want you to become cold-hearted. They wanted you to be just like them. But thank God, you are not like them. And guess what? They are not like us. That's why people sit back and watch you. Yeah, they may fun you back then, but look at look at you now. Now they watching you. They watching you on the big screen now because you know why? You was the one that got away. You was the one that showed these clowns what a real winner was all about. They thought they was the winners back in back in school or back in the day. But now look at them. They ain't winning now. Now are they? These losers, or shall I say these followers, they still wet behind the ears. I'm talking about they so wet behind the ears, they could do like this on the back of their ears. And you see this wetness dropping down their finger, wet and moist. Because they still have not alert nothing. These people, I'm not going to say these people, but these losers, these followers, still wet behind the ears. They don't know about the birds and the bees. They don't know Jack. But you, on the other hand, they want to have the nerve to take your place. These people got to climb up stories and stories of ladders if they want to be like you. I'm talking about y'all so high up, you are there in heaven. And they way down there. They haven't even started yet. But people always want to be all in your business because you stand out. You don't do what they doing. They're around here telling each other's business, being two-faced, playing patty cake and twinkle toes. Then when their back is turned, they talking about each other like a bunch of dogs. Yeah, girl, I can't stand her. But five or ten minutes, they are super friendly in their faces. Bro, I can't stand him, bro. Five minutes, he's smiling in his face. Two face it. But you, you don't get down like that. Because you are not cuffing that type of cloth. You're a real one. And they don't like that. That's why they're trying to figure out what makes you so special. Uh, because ever since you was a baby, you were special. And they mad at the fact that they are not you. Remember, they are not like you. They are not like us. And they will never be like us. Because you know why? The amount of work that we have put in, they will never be able, 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 not be able to do that. Remember, they're still wet behind the ears. They don't know about the birds and the bees. And on top of all that, these people, they choose not to put in the work. All they want to do is sit up here and watch other people put in the work. They are L-A-Z-Y, lazy. They're crastinating. But want to get mad at you because you don't want to fit in with their little salt park, pop-up girls, 
love and hip hop drama fishy toxicity click. You fit in with chosen ones. You fit in with the survivors. You fit in with the winners and leaders. You fit in with the kings and queens. They fit in with the losers. They fit in with the clowns. You should never ever try to entertain these people. Because if you try to sit up here and try to entertain a clown, guess what? You will clown yourself. And that's why people give me you the mean mug stares. I'm talking about they looking at you like you stole something from them. They looking at you like you cussed their mama out or something. And you ain't done nothing to these folks. But no, their spirit is so disturbed by your demons. You make that demons feel some type of way. Every time somebody hear your name, they got the nerve to turn their nose up. But no, they see. You are not of this world. They know you walk alone. And you don't need no G.I. Joe army but standing behind you trying to act all tough and cool. You walking with God. That's what make you so powerful and cool. But they can't put their finger on that because you know why? They so lost. The time where these people are lost in the sauce. I'm not talking about every time they look at you, they get mad, turn their head like, no, they just mad because they wish that they were like you. They wish they could be a leader that's like you. They wish that they could stand out that's like you. Hell, they want to be like you when they grow up. <laughs> like, seriously. But these people still children. They still do childish things. And not only that, they still act like they in school. Remember, everybody, or should I say, some folks are grown and some are not. Grown people walk alone and fix their own selves. They don't sit up here and try to be a piggyback to somebody else or trying to be somebody's Punching bag. Y'all don't do that, but they do. That's not a leader. That's clown stuff. That is a follower. And you know what followers are? Losers. But you are a winner. Ever since the devil been attacking y'all since a child, you've been winning battle after battle after battle after battle. That's why I call y'all survivors. I don't know what you have been through, but let me tell you something. And this message is for somebody that been through narcissist abuse, betrayals, you name it. Heart, heartbreaks, you name it. You've been in a relationship with a narcissist or with your family and you escape all that. Salute. Even they could understand you. Hell, your teachers couldn't understand you. Your own family, they couldn't understand you. But that's all right, because guess who understands you? God does. So stop explaining yourself to a bunch of wackos. Remember, y'all are leaders. You're renters. You should not be explaining yourself to a bunch of followers. To a bunch of clowns. The one to sit up here and play patty cake and twinkle toes all day long. Y'all ain't got time for that. Remember what I said in my last video. These people still love to play games. Don't play no games with these baby kids. Y'all too grown for that. And they wonder why you don't fit in. Remember, me and call about if you are chosen. Now they walk around here and talk about, I'm chosen, I'm chosen. No, you're not. Because if you were chosen, I'm talking to the losers in the back, digging up their nose and putting it in their mouth. I'm talking to them. If they were so-called chosen, they would be doing what you're doing. And they would not be sitting up here trying to pocket watch you. Or have their little binoculars that spying on you. Winners and leaders do not do that. Followers do. 
Losers do. Clowns do this. Then they walk around here with that miserable look on their face. Like a sad little puppy. Because you won't give up. You want... You want tough son of a gun, ladies and gentlemen. People had to get gangs and gangs of people spiritually just to go against you. And guess what? They still lost. Wah, 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 wah. And they cried tears of sadness. Tears of embarrassment. Because when they went against you, they went against God. This is why God don't bless no haters. And this is why God don't bless no mess. Trust and believe me. The man upstairs, he smell what you cooking. He smell what the leaders are cooking. And guess what? Them sugar boogers, or whatever you want to call them, they smell it too. That's why they want to fit in with y'all now. But no, nah, mm -mm, they're not like us. Like the movie Mean Girls. You can't sit with us. Chosen ones only. Winners only. Leaders only. They can't sit at our table. Mm -mm -mm. They can get the book and get the heck out of here. Tell them hit the road, Jack. Tell them don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Sam and Jack. You don't belong here. Winners do. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the real reason why you don't fit in. Your spirit imitates their demons. Your spirit. It makes them this. Y'all know like a vampire. When they see light, they, they make that sound. That's them. Y'all don't fit in because your light too bright. Well, guess what? Keep on shining that thing bright. I don't care how much they scream. And beg for mercy, shine that son of a gun even more brighter. I don't care who don't like it. Y'all are leaders, you are winners. And not only that, you are survivors. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you stood with me to the end of the video, I appreciate you all. And shout out to the new subscribers. Once again, by the way, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.